Hey friends, your boy Seth here. Uh, taking a look at the Ninja Jajumaru, like the Lost RPGs collection. This is a strange one. So uh, our friends over at Inning Games released this earlier this year. Um, and this seems to be a collection of two Ninja Jajumaru games that uh, released only in Japan and were localized as part of this collection. And this is now available on the Nintendo Switch, came out earlier this year, and I have got no experience with this series. The, like, the, the experience that I have with this series is Ninja Jajimaru was, was uh, mentioned in the We Shop Wednesday song from Nirvana the Band the Show. That's the experience I've got. So we've got this main menu here, like not even any music or anything like that, but we're going to just kind of like take a quick look at both of these. This is a weird thing because I don't really know the best way to make a video showcasing like retro RPGs, but we're going to take a, take a look at it. Um, we've got Ninja Jajimaru, the Ninja skill book. Our brave Ninja Jajimaru was asked to investigate some serious incidents Monsters appeared all over the country. The people of Edo Town were turned into yokais. The Book of Shinobi, which carries the knowledge of ninjas, was stolen. And the Dragon Region was, uh, has taken villagers and stopped the rain. Of course, Jajamaru fulfills his duty as a ninja. Together with Princess Sakura, he sets out to banish the evil from the land. And then we've got Ninja Jajamaru. Uh, Legend of the Golden Castle. In this fourth Famicom Jajimaru game, our brave ninja sets out to save Sakura and to Tonosama, defeat demons and collect spirits to perform strong jutsu techniques and beat your opponents. Fight your way through the different chapters in a classic top-down action RPG style. So these have never been localized before. This is like these were only in Japan, so that's why they're calling this the Lost RPGs collection so i guess we're just gonna like jump into it um see some of the options we have here we can put it in like a pixel perfect kind of mode oh my god look at that perfect 1x so four four by three aspect ratio a one to one and then like a, per a perfect aspect ratio which you know, puts a big old border there. Scale filter. We've got soft, crispy, and none. Shader style. Okay, so you can put on like a okay CRT shader. You can even kind of play with the intensity of like scan lines and stuff. It's cute. Always like it when there's like some you know options like that. Um, I mean. I guess we'll just do it in 4x3, that's the default. We'll just kind of do it. I can even do like a full screen preview of like what that kind of looks like. Yeah, I mean I guess we'll just do it in 4x3, this is the default. But cool that you can do it. Uh, we can, okay. We can like double XP, we can double gold. We can reduce random encounters. Um... You can even trigger cheats, like unlimited HP. Yeah, so that's cool. If you just want to kind of like play through these. We always like to see uh, games do this. The no music on the main menu is tripping me up. I'm not going to lie. Um, press the minus button to start the game. When playing, you can use this button to return to the menu. Okay, good to know. We're just going to get into it. Okay, here we go. New game. Choose a chapter. Chapter 1, The Stolen Scroll. Chapter 2, The Yokai Take Edo. And Chapter 3, The Dragon Lord. Welcome back from your training camp, Jajimaru. Thanks to you, my daughter Sakura has been rescued from the clutches of Namatsu. Uh, Dayu, once again. But enough of that. By the way, Jajimaru... It seems the Okai are planning a full-on assault against this peaceful country of ours. Oh, snap. Therefore, we'll need your help to protect us. When you start your journey, you will find the informations you need. 
so you'd better take this. It's not much, but it's enough to get you started on your journey. So I figure we'll just play like a little bit of each of these, just to kind of show them off. Show you some of the options we have here. It's cool that like... People have a way to play these, you know, if you're interested. Legends speak of these gems with mysterious powers that our country used to have. However, these jewels were scattered and lost to us long ago. Now they're said to be in a shrine whose gates are guarded by powerful yokai. Anyone who plans to stand against the yokai must first find these jewels. Welcome back to Shinobi Village, Judge Amaru. Uh, to tell the truth, something terrible has happened. For on one fateful moonlit eve, the precious Shinobi scroll, which has been passed down in this village for generations, was stolen. Then that scroll are, des are described secret arts for warding off the yokai. Unless it is returned, the yokai will surely lay this country of ours to waste. Jajumaru, can you lend us your power to recover the Shinobi Scroll? You're the only one we can count on for this. Yeah. I sure can. Hi, customer. We're faster in the wind, faster in a dust devil. We're the world's best carriers. If you like, we can take you anywhere you want for just ten coins. You want to go someplace? I mean, no, I don't know where I'm going. Do call on me again. A bewitcher has appeared. What will you do next, Judge Mario? Okay, so we can fight. Just a basic attack, I guess. Okay. What's our jitsu? Okay, I can't use any jitsu arts yet. Yeah, I mean, this sure is a Famicom RPG. How much health does this thing have? Dude, this thing's got like a ton- for like a low level enemy? This is lasting like a lot of turns, come on man. Holy crap, we're just like in a... We're just throwing blows back and forth right now. Oh, I like the... I do like the way the text box changes. Okay, well I dodged that attack, that's something. I might have to, like, figure something out here. Hang on. Do I have any items? I have nothing to use. I don't know what happens if I defend. Well, it's not gonna matter. Can I escape? Yeah, like, that seems really intense. For like an early level enemy, I felt like that was pretty intense. Like I felt like they're like that thing had way too much health. 
Can I heal? Alright, four coins to stay the night. Yes, we'll do it. I assume that healed us. Okay, yeah. I like the art. So we have shuriken, light clothes, and a kimono. What do I have currently equipped, actually? Hang on. The scrolling text, like, technology is sort of hard on the eyes, too. No inventory, right? Nothing to use. Yeah, I wasn't trying to use anything. Um, equip. Okay. So we don't have, like, a standard equipment menu, it doesn't look like. But let's see, let's just buy... Let's buy the shuriken. It's about as low as I can sell it for. Are you sure you still want it? Yep. And then I guess we'll buy the light clothes, too. Okay. That works for me for now. Let me see how to equip this stuff. Alright, weapon, garb, accessory, charm. So, weapon, shuriken. Okay. So, now we have that equipped, I guess. Alright, so I think we now have... I think we now have a weapon and piece of armor equipped now, so... Maybe that was why we were, uh, not doing so great back there. Okay. Let's try that again. Much better. Five damage, much better. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Got some XP, got some gold, okay. Yeah. Because before, I guess I was just, like, barehanding it. <laughs> and that wasn't... that wasn't a super great idea. I didn't realize that I was starting with, like, literally nothing before. So yeah, this this is much more in line with what I would expect from early game enemies. Um, okay. A stupid dog appeared. <laughs> okay. Maybe the stupid dog's not, not, you know, vicious, it's just stupid. It doesn't know what it's doing. If you want to cross the river over yonder, you better get yourself a bridge. Okay. If you go further, you'll get to the town of Hakamori. Nearby, there's a shrine that's home to a strange yokai. 
I've heard it's got one of those ancient relics called a jewel. Welcome, traveler. From the looks of you, you've been on the road. It'd be my pleasure to offer you my services. Would you like to rest here for five coins? Take a little bit of a heal, I guess. Another stupid dog. Okay, is there anything over here at all? So, I don't know what really allows them to get a preemptive attack on me. If that's just purely stat-based or not. It's also, I mean, this is pretty typical, you know... Famicom RPG stuff here where it's like directionless and I don't know where I'm going and what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so... Nice that they give you the option to, uh, to reduce the amount of, uh, to reduce the amount of random encounters. Because as you can see, the standard amount of random encounters is kind of rough here. Okay, I finally leveled up. Max HP and, yep, okay, evasion up, strength up, defense up. So everything just kind of goes up. Okay. Works for me. I'm gonna need to heal again. I should I should have looked at the items they have. Cause there's like a potion store too. I didn't even, I didn't even go in there. Okay, Shinobi Kite, Smoke Bomb, and Manju Bun. I'm assuming this is a healing item? So maybe I'll buy, like, two of them? Just, again, assuming that that's a healing item? Okay, and how much is it to rest at this end? Wasn't it like four coins? Okay. So we're healed up. We leveled up. Good God. Okay. Head this way and try to make like a modicum of forward progress. Even if things get tough, I'm sure we'll be able to overcome it. Oh, this is where we came from. Okay, yeah. So, here's the deal. This is still, ultimately, a Famicom RPG. So, this is, like, very 
kind of old school, obtuse design philosophies, but chances are, if you're interested in this collection, you're cool with that anyways. Um, if you're interested in this collection, you're probably, you know, the type of person who's kind of used to playing, like, you know, kind of more old school, obtuse stuff like this. Dude, the, the amount of random encounters is insane. Pretty rough. In fact, let me actually turn on that. I just want to, like, move around a little bit. <laughs> I just want to be able to, like, figure out some, like, some kind of semblance of where I'm supposed to go. Interesting. A false monk. Oh no. Okay, false monk does a little bit of damage to me here. Okay, I could take maybe one more hit before I need to do something. Yeah. That was kind of a lot. Man, even with the, uh, an Oni spider, even with the, uh, random encounters turned down. Whoa. I can't move. Well. I can move again, that's good. You just gotta be kinda lucky and hope that you, like, dodge the sticky threads. Feel like we're for sure about to get killed. Need to heal. If I'm not just about to. Okay. Okay, I leveled up again. Monsters in this area are kind of tough, though. I'm wondering if they want me to, like, grind a little bit before I come up this way. Okay. We're going to pop over, quickly at least, to Ninja Jajimaru, the, the other one. Let's create a save state here. Let's just quickly take a little bit of a look at this one. Legend of the Golden Castle and see what the differences are here. Start a trip. 
We'll put in... My name... Is Seth. In an age long past when people still believed in things strange and mystical, on a dark and moonless night, a wounded samurai stumbles, stumbles into Ninja Village. Is this Ninja Village? Indeed it is, my friend. However did you end up in such a state? The, the castle was attacked by some strange monsters. My lord and Princess Sakura were abducted. How strange, the power of the ninja has weakened recently. Perhaps these monsters are to blame. Please, you must help. Before the prophecy of the great demon is fulfilled. Did you say the great demon? Surely you can't mean... When the hell monk awakens, God, the great demon's return shall be upon us. Is that the prophecy you speak of? This mandala was entrusted to my lord long ago. Take it, and if you collect all eight spirits sealed away across the land, you might be able to summon the power to stop this terrible prophecy from coming true. Please, you must rescue the princess, not just for her own sake, but for the sake of the country. If the prophecy is true, then this is the vessel to confine those eight spirits. Why, it can only be the... THE Holy Mandala. Alright then, Jajamaru, take your ninja chain in this mandala. I have faith that the power of light is watching over you. That same light dwells within this mandala, and its destiny is surely intertwined with yours. Now go forth and smite the darkness. Take care out there. You can save a record of your journey at the shaman's huts you'll find along the way. Your soul will be written in the time scroll, letting you come back to life if you should fall. Master Jajamaru, please save this land. Okay. We're all counting on you, Jajamaru. We'll be doing our part as well. Oh, I like the music. You should check out the castle first. You might find some clues there. Same thing. Whoa. Oh, interesting. This is not a... This is not a turn-based RPG anymore. I did not know if I was expecting that. Oh, they respawn when you leave the screen? That's weird. Honestly, I feel like I probably would prefer the, this style to the, uh, the first one that we were playing. Whoa. Hard to judge, like, what the hitbox is there.
Let me find some kind of way to heal, man. Yeah, I'm, I keep getting, like, hit just from, like, not being able to judge my distance properly. Are these just coins that I'm picking up, or...? I guess they are. Covered some health there, somehow. God, I'm for sure gonna die. Oh God. What is this? Okay. Oh god. Yeah, well, there's that. Jajamaru, you failed to save this land, but don't lose heart. Will you revive and continue your journey? Or perhaps you want to turn back the clock and restart from the beginning? I mean, we'll just revive. And gather yourself and step forward once more. So I don't know, because I... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know, um... Because I definitely, like, lost a bunch of coins. I don't know if I just lost all progress or what. Seems like the castle is one of the... F I mean, maybe this is one of the shaman huts they were talking about right here. Please hear my plea. A great whirlwind swept through our village and carried away my grandchild. It traveled north before disappearing into a cave. The cave's entrance is protected by the strangest door. Hmm. Is this a little side quest? Okay. We got a shuriken, a Buddha shell, potions and elixirs here. Okay, so this, should, this will determine what I have equipped. Curious what the shuriken looks like. Is it just, is it unlimited? Okay, no, it isn't unlimited. I've got uh, 20 of them, it looks like. My favorite thing about this one so far has been the music. I think the music's great. Okay, well, let's not waste the sure, can we just bot? There's something about, uh, there's something that heals you. I don't understand, like, the healing mechanic, but I definitely have gotten heals. Thank you. 
Yeah, see I just got healed a little bit there too. Jesus. Well, I do like that this one doesn't have, like, the random encounters and stuff. This definitely... I think this would be the one that I would be more inclined to, uh... Jesus, man. Just getting wrecked. Try to get out of here and not... Well... <laughs> that's okay. Probably a good place. Pro probably a good sign anyway before I lose track of time and just wind up brute forcing my way through. Um, in any case... This is hopefully a decent little look at what this collection is. The, uh... Lost RPGs of Ninja Jajumaru. Um, I, again, you know, don't roast me too hard in the comments. I've never played these before. This is my first experience with these games. Uh, pretty cool. You know, this is the kind of thing where, again, like, if you're the type of person that's picking this, this collection up, I feel like you're either familiar with this or you're, like, sort of in the mood for a retro RPG that is going to have some of these sort of like um, old school design sensibilities. So if you're a retro gamer, I think this is a cool pickup. This is the kind of thing um, I definitely feel like uh, I definitely feel like I would prefer to play this one than the first one personally. Um, but I could see the merit of like the old school RPG as well. Um, but I think that this is this would be the one that I go to. It's uh, $12.99 on the eShop for these. And yeah, to be fully localized in English for the first time, this is, you know, this is pretty cool. So let me know if you're a Ninja Jajamaru fan or if you, you know, are planning to pick this up. Would love to hear from you. And uh, again, big thanks to NN Games, the publisher, uh, for providing us a code to showcase these a little bit. To, to poorly showcase these a little bit. And um, if you like more Nintendo video content like this, you're already in the right place, all in, right here on YouTube. So go ahead and like and subscribe if you would before you head out. Um, so for for this, you know, bad little showcase of Ninja Jajumaru may be over. Um, but in any case, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.